Good evening everyone, and welcome to another round of RSF1, round 14, and I am Primus Gaming, and joined with me once again is my good mate Bodder. How you doing mate? I'm good Primus, I'm good. This is the big one for me. Cannot wait, I couldn't wait for Monza to come. It's such a fantastic track, lots of, lots of, plenty of room for overtaking, plenty of opportunities for, for these drivers. This is going to be a fantastic race, it always is, every year. Oh, indeed. And uh, before we begin, I have uh, to say welcome back and welcome to a new driver in F2. So everyone, after a long break, Skunkburner has returned to F2. So please, everyone, welcome. Give Skunkburner a, well, a warm welcome back to the league after a handful of weeks gone. We really did miss Skunk and his amazing battles. I've got the sound glitch currently in my game, so welcome again to RSFE, and also <laughs> joined in for <laughs> for F2. Uh, we got to give a big welcome to Tabitzi, or as his commentating nickname given to him by Brundle and No Shells, was Mr. T. Mm, Mr. T, Tabitzi, welcome. So, welcome to F2. Yeah, Mr. T, F4 and F2. a former F4 driver. Yeah, quite a jump, Primus. Quite a jump, so it is. Like, um, I've never experienced it, but he's very fast in F4. Extremely fast. He was doing some great lap times, winning a lot of races. Uh, so we'll see how he works out here in F2. Yeah, and uh, so I have to say that uh, I know a lot of eyes will be on uh, Mr. T because he generally astounded the field because his pace for the his racing season in rsf1 obviously in f4 uh and also his times have amazed everyone because his quick times he set in the time trials weren't even in a mercedes or in a ferrari he set most of his times in his racing point which he was a previous racer for in f4 mm. yeah crazy it's crazy so, when you think about it yeah. but like we had that with with dyslexic as well and no knocks on dyslexic he came in you know the guys didn't know where about his he sat so they kind of put him on a lower division and the guy just got faster and faster every week and now he's up at f1 and he wants to be in f1 he wants to comp be competing with the the absolute best that we have in our league so look that's just the way it goes but it's it's good competition that's what we want to see and as well just to point out skunk burner welcome back dude uh, I think you picked a great race to come back to. Uh, you're a you're fairly fast <laughs> driver, so look, can't wait to, to see what you got tonight in uh, Italia. So Toby is, uh, or Mr. T, is on his lap, and he is now going, uh, he's just been through the Ascari chicane, and he is now going through the Parabolica. So this is where we had a very big incident back in, uh, I think it was F3 but, uh, for here, when a driver shot up the sausage curb around the outside at a 120.6 yeah. set by Toby. That was a very good time. That's Luckily, very the driver, respectful. Very respectful. He gained a lot of height, yeah. but he's still, he's still okay. But yeah, that's a very respectful time. He's faster than Pepper Me at the moment. Yeah, that, that's faster than my time trial. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. I'm not. Oh no, wait. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. Oh, uh, look at that! Some of the guys straight here. away. Uh, top notch says yo yo boys. Uh, I am Groosh ninety two says. Is this a closed league? Nope. This is actually an open league. If you want to get involved, uh, look at our website. Um, I'm sure someone will post it in the chat. If not, message one of us. My name is Bot eighty six. Um, get in touch with us we'll, we'll we'll get you in into the league whatever way we can if you want to get into the league i'm groot uh go to www.racingseriesf1.wixsite.com and you can apply through there and uh, ah. then we'll get in touch with you if you wish to join the league let me get that link is in it, the chat is it sad that i remember that link very well um no <laughs> <laughs> there you go dude put that uh, in the chat yes dude you can join of course I don't care well, how fast openly. you are how slow you are just as long as you're a clean racer that's okay exactly you know race of passion commitment and respect exactly so we've got some times coming through very 
very competitive times. No one is kind of pulling away with it at the minute. Piter with a 20 flat as well at the minute. Great to see, great to see. People to keep an eye on, I know for sure, would be RSF1 Roberts <clears throat> and actually uh, Brundle as well because in practice, Brundle and Roberts are really, really quick. Like Their times were in the uh, mid-19s. So given the chance, I think they're going to come out with a really quick lap. And yes, everyone, if you are not hearing any sound, I am having the sound glitch, but it will fix itself at the end of Q1. So for the moment, you're going to have to deal with F1 scale electrics for the moment. Formula E. Eh. Formula E, yeah. Whoa, <laughs> what a sound that was! Because, um, as I said, like the scale electric sort of thing, Robert's opened his DRS and I heard it eh, go past the screen. Jesus. <laughs> that does that sounds like someone like pulled the, the trigger on the scale electrics controller like really heavy you know they're just hoping the car will fly into someone's knee or under the sofa there was one time where i got the sound glitch when i was racing and obviously the engine sound was gone i couldn't hear my engine sound i couldn't hear other drivers engine sounds all i could hear was the whine of my turbo and man during a race all you hear is mm, that whine just goes through your head after a few laps the whine of the turbo I bet it was kind of cool but annoying, like you know, to just hear the nothing but the turbo at first. I was like, oh, "That's kind of cool," but then yeah, it's that's like, cool. Yeah. yeah, it's getting very annoying. <laughs> there you go. Roberts is now going through Scari. He's hugging that line, clips that little apex there. That's actually a part we have to watch out for because if you clip that apex too much, that'll actually send you into a spin going into mm -hmm. the gravel. Mm -hmm. We don't want to see that on turn. Sorry, we don't want to see that on lap one either because if you go sideways there, potentially you're parking your car sideways on that straight, and a lot of the drivers will be full. Wow. Whoa, there it is. Roberts, I told you. There we 119 go. Yeah. 9. It's coming. A lot of drivers are full pedal coming over scary, so you don't want to, because obviously you don't want the best run onto the that last corner. So. I do have something to um, ask you, Bodder. Oh, gosh. Because um, I've got the... No, oh, Regent Knight 882. If anyone knows who Regent Knight is, um, I know he's not a part of Division 2, so if anyone knows him, could you please ask him to leave the session? As we do not want anyone random uh, disrupting the guys at work. Uh, anyways, my question was, is because we've got a really good championship going on here at the moment, because... Magic Marks is currently in the lead in the championship of 195 points. Uh, Roberts is second of 137, while in third, uh, a close battle for third between Peppermeat and Brundle, because Brundle's got 117, but Peppermeat's got 116. And recently, due to his great performance, the man with a cash is in fifth. So the top five is looking exponentially quick. Yeah. And the best part is, Skunkburn has been gone for like four to five weeks. And he's got 108 oh, points. Do not count him out. One he, bit We cannot count all. him out because no he's way. got a good amount of points from his amazing start to the season. And like I have a feeling now that Skunkburner is back in action. Look at that! A 119.7 set by Skunkburner. Strong return <laughs> lap. Brilliant as return. I was, brilliant as return. I was just saying, he's a strong driver and Skunk is back. And I have a feeling if Skunk can win some races, because I know for a fact Magic Mark's and Skunk are really good friends, but Skunk was the person Marx had to look out for. So we'll <laughs> see the classic rivalry from these two come back to life today in Monza, which I'm so excited to see unfold in the race. But I have a feeling, now that Skunk Burn is back and Roberts is actually on the climb, do you feel that they could actually try and uh, tackle magic marks for the top spot on the championship in uh for the season because we still have seven races to go oh definitely definitely i know scum burner and and uh, magic mark are good friends off the track but on the track it's no holds barred you're not they're not teammates they're able to you know race go wheel to wheel like they're, they're going for the glory of a title championship here so <sighs> roberts as well roberts could be able to shout as well there's a few drivers there like even Brundle's up there. Like I'm gonna start calling him the Rain Man, by the way, because every time I speak to him, he's like, "I want rain. I want rain. I want rain." <laughs> so, to be honest, it looks a bit overcast at the minute, Primus. Potentially, we might see rain for Q2, uh, but I haven't got a, a, a weather report yet, so I can't really comment on that yet. But I just I'm not forgetting the message there. 
from Patronus, and Patronus says his DRS is actually broken. That oh, is a huge implication for Patronus in Q1. Huge. We, we I know, do know that pain. Yeah, speed is such a massive thing. You want to get up to 7, 8 gear as fast as you can. Uh, so hopefully it's stuck maybe open and not closed. At least you have something there, but... Let's keep an eye on Mr. T again, because he's now going on to a lap again. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think he's just done a lap with a 120.3. Um, actually, yeah, we'll come back to Mr. T. He's currently in seventh place behind Max Senna and ahead of Magic Marks in eighth place. Man with the Cash is in ninth. Peppermeat, tenth. So I'd say a real uh, thing to look out for is the straight line, straight line speed. No, uh, you want to uh, take a look at the speed these cars can get to down the straights, because I think the fastest to see a car go down. So let's have a look at WR Chosen. I'm pretty sure if he's got it into max everything, Chosen is going to probably go into the straight uh, in like maybe like 215 miles an hour. There you go, 214, 15. Max speed going through. He just misses the 220 mark going into turn one. But that's an incredible speed uh, around this track. Yep, it's incredible. But that's what Mons is known for. It's the the autodrome. Is that what they call it? Uh, that's I think the thing it's autodrome? I, yeah. Oh, okay. I, excuse oh, excuse oh, my oh. Italian. Skunk burner. Do it as a game. Skunk burner. 1.19.7. And that's actually giving Jake Moore in the Red Bull a toe into the straight. So Skunk Burner getting a good time there. Oh, no, he moves over. So there goes Jake Moore's hope of uh, continuing the toe. If there was ever so, a way for a driver to leave for a few weeks and come back and make a statement like that, that's a serious statement to the rest of the uh, division. Guys, I'm back. Let's play. Yeah, and Marx is going to try and retaliate against Skunk Burner's uh, pulsing time. And I cannot forget the amazing battle we had uh, with Skunk Burner, Cross Kerry, and uh, Magic Marx in Spain. Oh, and obviously, uh, poor Skunk Burner losing it in the second sector on yeah. the final lap, which sent you and me into a tizzy. Oh, overdrive. Absolutely. And we cannot as well mention um, Roberts. I think Roberts overtook, was it Magic Mark? I think it was like maybe turn 10 or 11, kind of uphill bit, that uphill right-hander. Completely outclassed, I think it was Magic Mark at that, that corner, but it was fantastic overtakes, so it was. We could In see Spain. potentially maybe even better overtakes uh, from the rest of the season coming up. Jake Moore moves himself up into P3, and the nice only one, car currently to have not set a time is RSF1 Senna. Mm -hmm. And Jake Moore's out. time is it's just a it's not how and that's Oh Max Senna almost got close. It's two thousandths of a second off of Jake Moore. That's a great <laughs> time by Senna. Brilliant. Brilliant. And Zabitsi's still there, he's still in eighth place. Play. So from F four to F two and yeah. you're still in the top ten in Q one. That's a that's a good job there, Tabitsi, so far. Like you're still like you're hanging in there with Magic Mark at the minute. Man with the cash. Some great names there. Um, so, currently, yeah. um, the Constructors' Championship is still anyone's game. Marks may have a good lead ahead of Roberts in the drivers, but in the Constructors, Racing Point does lead with 237 points. Renault's in second with 202. Uh, oh, good lap there from Senna. Puts himself into P7. Good job, man. Uh, McLaren is actually ahead of Haas, even though Roberts has been doing really well. Go on, McLaren. Uh, McLaren is still ahead of Haas in the constructors, so they're in third place, 183. Haas is got four, uh, is in fourth of 138, and thanks to the man with the cash, and uh, I think also uh, his teammate. Uh, who, who was his teammate again? Forty. No, yes. no, his new teammate is Max Tarrop. Sorry, we got mixed up between F2 and F3 there. Uh, let's have a look at Max Tarrop, because Max Tarrop is actually on lap at the minute. He is currently in the drop zone. So, oh, yes. two drivers are going to be losing in the Q2. Oh, oh he went right wise. there. That might invalidate the lap. Oh, it had to invalidate it. Yeah, he's going to have to go again. Oh, it, three he minutes. Went slower, anyways. Just over slower. three minutes left in Q1. Uh, so, at the minute, we're in their drop zone is Max Tarrop and uh, Mansell. 
Mansell's currently on outlap on fresh soft, so he'll have to put in a solid lap now in the next two, two and a half minutes. Let's keep an eye on Mansell for the moment. We'll do a little on board with him. Again, everyone, yes, there is no sound. We have established that. Magic Marks <laughs> has put himself into second. 119.86. So it's not fast enough to catch Skunk Burner in first. But um, <gasps> yeah, Skunk is definitely going to try and help Williams get back up in the constructors because they're down in sixth after losing out uh, a handful of weeks which has allowed his uh, good close friend and championship uh, rival, because I say they are rivals because they are both evenly matched, and it's allowed Mark to just jump away a little bit of the lead. Uh, WR Stretch doing really well last week in Belgium has managed to score some good points for Renault, which, again, still second place, still going strong. And Mansell goes through the chicane. That is quite nice, actually. That is a very good, tidy line. Now into Lesmo. There you go. I get it would be more intense, this onboard, guys, if we actually had sound. But don't worry, you know, uh, RSFE provides always. Um, going down the DRS zone. Tarp is and, uh, I, Tarp is I was going to say, you took that opportunity to get your drink <laughs> into the <scurry. laughs> <laughs> it always happens and I do oh, that. Oh, and the man's almost loses it out of Ascari. He has to push it over for the oh. next lap. He's not going to get on this lap, but he needs to push it over for the next lap. He does because he's only got one minute and 20 seconds to yeah. get a lap in. Meanwhile, t uh, Mr. T and Shane are going back out for another go. Skunk Burner is retaliating by the looks of it. He's on his warm up lap. Yeah, Patronus is on that lap as well for his insurance. I think he's Roberts and Jake Moore and all that might have re um, retired or a little bit too preemptively. Not to say that they're going to get eliminated out of Q1, but all they, what they've pretty much done is almost given a clean chance for anyone who's down the bottom of the grid to get themselves up. Yeah, yeah. Um, just looking at the chat here. So it's dry. It's basically says it's dry for qualifying and the race, which is fantastic. That's what you want to see. Uh, Deathbringer says, hello, how's everyone? Hey, Deathbringer, how are you keeping? Uh, hey, that's notch. actually my friend. Oh, okay. I, I recognize the name, right? I was like, yeah, that's not the first time that that, that uh, person has tuned in. Um, Top Notch says, the fight's on for F2. That was off for us talking about standings. Yep, it is. Um, Pepper me, yes. Uh, what platform do you guys use? use Discord? Yep, that's it. Uh, Unity. Um, so I think Unity is going to chat to I am Groot there in regards about getting signed up. Uh, probably best contacting Shane about that. Get Shane in touch. But here's hoping that we will be seeing you on the track sometimes, I am Groot. Uh, no matter what division you're in, oh, he cuts the corner slightly having you. on the grass. Oh, oh Mansell. Mansell is struggling for a lap. No. He doesn't improve. Mansell is out of Q1 and it's the same with Tarrup. Unless oh, anyone crashes, but well, I have a high doubt anyone is going to. We are Ah, Mr. T almost loses it into the Lesmo. He almost, um, he goes out into turn six, you know, out of turn six onto that little straight there. He touches a bit of the grass and it almost sends his car into a spin, but luckily saves it. Now going into the Ascari chicane, we should get our sound back as soon as the guys finish crossing the line. Mr. T looks like he's doing all right. Oh, Ooh. that's actually quite a nice cut across that little, uh, that little uh, apex there. Uh, he did kind of the back end of a small bit. He did say in his debut he was looking to get it um, at least through Q1 because he doesn't know how he feels fighting the F2 guys. But uh, on the very least, Mr. T has achieved his goal for today in at least the qualifying in getting into Q2. But let's keep an eye on Mr. T. Remember, anything can happen. Pepper Me is still currently on. The no, he's not. Pepper Me is... Uh, he's going to go into the pits. I think he actually went out on those tyres as like an insurance sort of thing. Mech yeah. Senna jumped up to 119.905 uh, in the house. So Senna has found some serious pace. Mm -hmm. Getting into the 19s as well. It's great. We've got seen six, five drivers already in 19s. We're going to see more now in a few minutes. Hopefully we get our sound back and uh, we'll get all oh, going. So unfortunately we lost uh, Tarp and, and Mansell. Mansell just seeing in the chat there was so close for himself. But yeah, it's just... he did he did well, Mansell, but the race is mm. still ahead. It's such a hard track to, to hook up, isn't it, to get that perfect kind of lap? Because to me, I'm looking at the, the track layout here with, with the turns. 
just kind of like three turns that will, will throw me. It's turn six, so that's the start of the curve. Yay! Of the Sound back. Uh, turn seven, and then the scary. So it's like you know the double right hander in sector two. Mm-hmm. Um, that if you if you get your your back tire, your back left tire, and a bit of gravel on that, the tension turn around there, and you're going to lose time. So you want to be very very careful on that. And then obviously a scary as well is another place we have we can have drivers losing it. Going over the classification for the top three in Q1 is Skunk Burner in first place with a 119.7, Magic Marks with a 119.8, and Mech Senna with a 119.905. And then, as Bodder had mentioned at the end of Q1, that we had lost a Ferrari of Mech's Tarrant and Mansell in the Williams. So, that is the classifications currently for Q1. That's it, and I'm actually. I'm actually going to get Shane's gamer tag and put that in the chat so that I am Groot. Yeah, <laughs> I am Groot. I am Groot. <laughs> I like to have him in the podium one uh, sometime. I was just like, so Groot, you did a really good lap. Can you explain it? I am Groot. Mm hmm. I am Groot. Mm hmm. I am Groot. Mm. Oh, God, that's intense. <laughs> just, <laughs> so, <laughs> something like that would just be funny, you know? Just like, you've just won a championship. How do you feel? I am Groot. Oh, yeah. Tell you what. By the way, I, I don't understand a single word you're saying. All I know is your name is Groot. Out of all these drivers that are taking a deep breath at the minute, Patronus. The guy had no DRS or too much DRS in Q1. Hopefully, it's been repaired now. So for Q2, it's 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 there from hopefully. <laughs> that would have been terrible going Q1 if your DRS fails because this is of all the tracks you need DRS. Like you can do it without it in, in Monaco, maybe Singapore or something like that. But like here in Monza, you need your DRS. Mr. T is actually the first car out on track again. He's he's very very um quick. He's normally one of the first few cars in F4 to get out on track, and it just shows in F2 he's still one of the first. Yeah, clean air is king. You don't want to get caught in that dirty air if you're behind someone else. So clean air is always king. That's why if you have an engineer in your ear and you're looking to pit, he should be looking at the times. Saying, okay, you know, a pit stop is 26, 27 seconds. The guy behind you is, oh, you know, just into that or above that. So you want to be able to time it so you try and get out in front of him so you're not caught behind his dirty air. And his teammate, his new teammate for the rest of the F2 season, is W O R Chosen, and Chosen. Uh, w O R Chosen. Master, speaking of, no, that was um, Stretch. That was Stretch. Probably. I was stretching the uh, Renault, but Chosen is choosing to go out onto the hard compound tire. He's going for a very preservative start. There we go, Mr. T. He's on his uh, outlap, or he's gone on his flying lap now, so I'll do a onboard with him. So Mr. T drink. getting a massive launch. Yeah, that's your cue to get the drink. Going into turns one through two, uh, Rafilio. And he is looking very quick. Jake Moore has left the session. Now going into Grande, he's actually backed off. I think he might have accidentally invalidated the lap. So Mr. T, he backs off. So we'll go with the racing point of Shane. So Shane, is now going through Roggia, the uh, second chicane that's turns four and five, into turn six and seven, the Lesmo. So Shane looks like he's on a very good lap. He's only in mode three, so he's not getting the full speed out of the car as he'd hoped to. Now going onto the straight, onto the DRS, under the bridge. This track used to house the uh, previous fastest time before Kimi Raikkonen. So, and Magic Marks, he, he was in the way of uh, Shane going into the Ascari chicane. And Shane had to avoid his teammate. And unfortunately, Magic Marks has gotten in the way of Shane being able to set a lap. That is going to harm Shane. That's not good. That very, very, not good. That was a oh, very look. good reaction, though. It was a very good reaction, but look, think of the positives. 12 and a half minutes, sorry, 11 and a half minutes left in Q2. There's still time to come up with fresh tires and set your lap. Nothing's lost yet. Nothing is lost. Everything is still up for play. And Peppermeat sets the fastest time with a 121.5 on the medium compound tire. Stretch sets a 121.1 on the medium compound tire. I know the soft compound runners will beat that time. There you go. As I said, 119.9. by the cross. Rundle, Do keep in mind, 
that a 121 is actually a really good time on the medium compound tire. Ooh. Stretch, stretch, no stretch, uh, Pieta, sorry, slips Lifts. down a lot. He lifted, so it's he obviously lifts. he doesn't want to set his time on a medium. He's just got out there to see what it's like. Very interesting, Ooh, very what's interesting. He, what's he doing? He's, he's almost stopping on the track. Ah, he's I actually he's stopped in drive. the... Ah, he's letting the Ferrari pass. The man, the man with the cash! 120.8! <laughs> but he's set himself up there. He's knocking yep. at the door. And that's Brandon. Jason Jason's is back. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, Jason. I, so, we're still astounded, by the way, that his name I, is. I can't go over it. And I won't be able to get over it for, for probably the rest of my life, to be honest. If, let alone the rest of the season. <laughs> oh, Skunk Burner gets off really bad in that lap. A 127 2. And he's not even turned up his ERS load yet. So we'll see what Skunk Burner's going to do soon. Looks like he wants to get in the tow because he's got a good amount of fuel. His tyres are still fine. He's got a good battery. I think he's just really after a tow. And let's have a little look with... Uh, oh, Chosen, as I was about to click on him. A 121.1. Uh, uh, where? 126. So six hundredths of a second slower than Max Senna's time on the medium compound tyre. And he's on the hards. He's doing really well. Meanwhile, uh, Mr. T is going to get a tow off of Skunk Burner. Skunk Burner, uh, Skunk Burner moves along and it gives Mr. T the chance to pass him going under the bridge into Ascari. <coughs> Sorry. And he's going to get the tow off the car in front. That looks like a Red Bull. I think that's the Red Bull. Man with a cash is uh, left the session. Left the session? I think he might have lagged out or he might have had the bug. You know, because sometimes the game does like to kick Yeah. Out. It does that. It does that. And um, Mr. T, he's he's looking to get a good flying lap because he's gotten onto the rear of Skunk Burner's Williams at the toe. He tried to get as much as he could, but Skunk Burner's Whoa. gone in, so Mr. T is going to have to ride him out. So let's restart the onboard of Mr. T because he invalidated as Bolo went to go get his drink. Mr. T getting a good run into Rafilio. That's quite. Oh, at the back end! Just a grip was not there the for. End. No, it wasn't. And then going into Grande. We've seen some battles here uh, recently and over the years into Grande. Uh, and this is also the uh, track Sebastian Vettel won his first race in, in a Toro Rosso. So this track has held really good uh, memories for Italian F1 teams. And then he goes into the Lesmo, uh, turns the six and turn seven. Still very, very nice. Mr. T is doing his best to keep that speed going. There we go. Now going to Ascari. Got a yellow flag in the third sector. Probably drivers just moving out of the way. That's it, yeah. Look at that tidy little uh, line he took through the Ascari chicane. Very nice run there uh, for so when, Toby. When Tabitzi is finished that uh, lap, Roberts is on a lap as well. He's currently sitting 13, so... That'll be a good one to see over the line. Oh, Mr. T goes wide in the Parabolica. Is that going to affect his time? Second place! Second place from Mr. T! <laughs> That's brilliant! That's brilliant! Oh my god! That's that a massive time! It would be fantastic to see Tabitzi in uh, Q3. This is fantastic. This is looking I, great for him. So I it think is. he has just done that. I oh, know we've got seven minutes left, but a 1.19.9 is a really quick time. It is, and I it's on as well. Yeah. Yeah. He might have just solidified himself into Q3. Way better than his expectations going into F2. Now, let's flash forward to the race. The guys around him could be potentially on mediums. He's on softs. He's going to get a great pull off the line. He could beat some guys into turn one. Roberts has just gone through Ascari. He's on the second to last straight. And here he goes through turn 11, the Parabolica. And can Roberts respond? Brundle has retired from the session. He feels good where he is. This is going to be a fast lap, Roberts. Because Roberts Ooh. put this to the of Q2 at 1.19.6. Brilliant. Roberts has just said, I know you've done a really good time there, Brundle, but I'll tell you what, mate. I'm not letting you have it. And it's the same for Mr. T. Mr. T of a 119.9. And Robert is just like, I know you're new here, but, you know, here's where I'm at and here's where you're at. 
the thing about Roberts is a few weeks ago he came to me and he says I'm going all out attack and I think he's been all out attack ever since because ever since then he just seems like he stepped up his game, stepped up his racecraft. He's just driving at a phenomenal level now these days. He just seems to be on next, next to another level so he is. E5 for the Magic Man. He said a decent lap but it looks like he could have, well he looks, looks like he lost a little bit of time. But then again the rough uh, time uh, estimated between the soft and medium compound tyre is eight tenths of a second. Oof. So, yeah. that is a good time, a 120.5. Uh, but let's see how he manages, because right now he's uh, currently being out-qualified in Q2 by his teammate. Skunkburner is actually going out onto his lap, going around the Parabolica. He's going to begin his flying lap. Mr. T still currently sits third place. Brundle second place. He is tired in the session. And Roberts in first. If Mr. T could get a good run into turn one, if he can get a good position in Q3, he could be sitting happy for the race start. Yeah, very happy. Very happy. Or from just trying to the guys, chat there. Sorry, go ahead. Um, I was going to say, do remember, we cannot forget, and it's always going to be my favourite part of the, uh, the transition period is your famous formation maps. Oh, I love the formation maps. I love the formation maps. Um, so just looking at the chat there, it says uh, Luke uh, JLP, I think it is. That's actually over from Orphan. She was, says, how was Mr. T in F4? Well, he was in F4, now he's in F2, and he's currently sitting third in Q2, in F2. That's a phenomenal jump for Mr. T, so well done to him. Tip back to him. Okay, um, that's only just proven his speed. Yeah, yeah. It's the same thing again, like, you know, you, if you're around faster drivers, you naturally yourself will become faster. It's just the way things are. Um, okay, so, four minutes left in Q2. Uh, Primus, we have Peppermint, Senna, High Eater, Patronus and Skunkburner in the drop zone. But I don't think Patronus or Skunkburner are going to be in the drop zone for long, as Skunkburner is about to come over the line. Set his time. Yeah, Whoa! 120.3, that's good! Yeah, That's look at really the magic mark. It's so close there. Like, what, two tenths of it? <laughs> one tenth, sorry, one tenth. This is it? the second time today Skunk Burn has gone, hey, Marks, watch this, and beats his time. <laughs> watch this, I can do better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the second time he's just like, oi, take a look at this, mate, and then Marks just looks at him, and there you go, 120.3. <laughs> Patronus is back in the pits. I thought he was actually going to set a lap there, so I'm wondering what's happened there. He has Jake Moore. Rough, if he can get back out soon, he will be able to do a lap, but he has to make it count. Uh, Jake Moore said there, uh, do I go softs? My lap felt amazing. Mm, do you go softs? That is up, that is up to you. Uh, to be honest, each of the tyre compound, I'm at Belgium last week, where soft and mediums felt pretty nice and the hards felt bad. This track, they all are pretty good. So in a way, there's no real best tyre. It's just how no. you take the track. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, I was just chatting to him, well, while we were talking about Jake Moore, I was just chatting to him earlier on, and he says he's not done a lot of practice for this race at all. He says uh, he went he went out with a couple of guys, and he said kind of middle times, but he says his one-up pace felt great, but he says ideally he wants to, to start off and obviously progress as, as he can, like, you know. So not much practice done from Jake Moore this week. We'll have to see how he gets on. Man with a cash, by the way, jumps up into fourth place. 119.999. Whoa! Gosh, with the dash. One it, huh? pound of a second away. <laughs> <laughs> 999, yes. 999, what's your emergency? <laughs> oh, gosh. And Peppermy is now going to set a lap. He's going down the second to last straight into the Parabolica, and it looks like Pite has moved himself up to the P5. It sent uh, Senna into the elimination area. Meanwhile, Magic Mark is actually starting to fall loader. Whoa, in the Peppermeat to third, third place from Peppermeat! What the heck is that? Send us next, send That's us next. incredible speed. Take send us more. across the line. He's in the danger area. Seventh, not bad from RSF1 Senna. And it's sending magic marks further down the pecking order. And it's the same with Jake Moore. Okay, so the next one, the guys to, to cross the line in the drop zone is Mech Center. 
So we've gone from RSF1 center to mech center. Let's see who is going to be in the drop zone next. Jake Morris drops his drop zone. Yeah, he's oh my god, Magic Mark! Everyone Magic was Mark's saying fast the time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's, in the, he's in the elimination zone. You know, he's the driver in danger. Danger zone now! <laughs> uh, that's why I like commentating with you, Bonner. <laughs> you never let it go. You never let it like, let this go down. You know, if we get a little moment, you know, we're gonna plug in our favorite song. Yeah, we gotta get it in. Without worrying about copyright strikes, you know. No, if I can sing it, we won't sing it. No. I mean, we can think it. Next center must invalidate his lap because he's still sitting twelfth. Yeah, he's struggling, and a WR stretch is currently going through Ascari. 20 and seconds. He's looking 15. Pretty good for the moment. Who's looking at stretch? Have a little look at stretch. Yeah, yeah, WR stretch. He's actually going through the parabolica. Going Three, on to the straight. Two, he got third one. in Belgium. This and he makes it. Makes, he Whoa, six Ooh, for sixth stretch. place. He, he manages to stay, uh, stay in sixth. Do keep in mind, Magic Marks, the championship oh leader, God, is actually. Intent. Skunk has sealed his fate. He's in tent. Oh my god! Magic no. Mark can put out Skunk! Oh my he can. god! Uh, I know oh I joked about god. Skunk earlier, earlier, but now Marks is gonna go, hey Skunk, watch this, and he's Skunk gonna try and beat his time. So potentially, we could have best friends fallen out here if Magic Mark puts out Skunk Burner. Uh, Jake Moore is about to cross the line. See if Jake Moore can get himself out of the danger zone. Uh, yes, he does. Oh, well P4 done, Jake. from Jake Moore. Obviously, that little so bit of practice didn't really help you, Lord. I mean, it's that little bit of practice, it didn't really help that much. <laughs> if Magic Marks can beat Skunk Burner, he saves himself being knocked out. What can you do with your best mate, though? There we go. Through the Parabolica. Skunk Burner's mate is now going to cross the line. Oh no, Skunk Burner! 19 7! And he's knocked out Sheen! Sheen's out too! Oh no! <laughs> uh, Senna! Uh, if my. Thinking my Patronus is still on the lap! No, he's no, not. Patronus is done. Patronus, Patronus is, is done. Fuel. Yeah, he aboard the lap. That is. Wow. I was not expecting that. To if, the least. if you said to me he at the start of the stream. If you said this to me in Sarah's string, but uh, who's gonna be your top three? Oh, immediately one of them is gonna be Skunk. Immediately one of them is gonna be Skunk. But now Skunk's gone in Q2. Hmm. This is bizarre. 31 viewers, Bodder. 31. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. This is incredible. Let's see, you guys <laughs> are enjoying the stream. Anyways, yeah. let's. Um, I'll go. I'll let Bodder go over the drivers knocked out. Yeah, okay, so starting from the bottom, the drivers knocked out are unfortunately RSF1 Patronus, Chosen, Senna, Skunk Burner, which we weren't really expecting to see, Shane as well, he's another fast driver we weren't really expecting him to see. Um, do you want to go over the top 10, Primus, or will I do it? Indeed, uh, RSF1 Senna in the Red Bull in 10th place with Pi Eater in 9th, WR Stretch in 8th, Manuel Cash 7th, Mr. T in 6th, Jake Moore 5th, Peppermeat 4th, Brundle third, Magic Mark second, and Roberts rounds off the grid in first place. I would go over what cars they're in, but there just wasn't the time. No, it wasn't so I just it. had to go over quick and sweep of their names. So now, here's where it gets juicy, Bodder. Q3. And mm. does it mean or has qualifying gone by quick again? It just feels Every like week. it's a shot by. Every week, it just feels the same thing. Like, we have so many drivers competing, and they're all so fast drivers that it just flies by. Um, and we always get a shock as well. I think last week we got a shock. Someone got knocked out. We weren't really expecting. Now tonight we've uh, we lost Shane and Skunk Burner. Um, but just looking in the chat there real quick. Um, X are just saying Pepper Race Naked is certainly helping with his straight line speed here. Yeah, that's for aerodynamics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pe Pepper, uh, Pepper's uh, got weight reduction. Weight reduction. So I don't reduction know if era. we should talk to the stewards because that's probably an illegal modification. <laughs> <laughs> that's going in the rule book. <laughs> Like, First you know, when, um, you're gonna, 
Yeah, he's really quick going out. I was going to say, Bodder, imagine how funny it is. Because you know, obviously, at the end of the race, going into Park Verme, you know, all the drivers mm. are in their race suits, their helmets and all that. And then we just see his uh, pepper meat with a helmet on, but it's just like stark naked standing on the uh, scales. Just, just, <laughs> just slinging it around like, you know, he just turned around to face you for an interview or something, just slinging it around like... The thing is, if you say put on your suit and you don't specify what suit, he's going to go Birthday into his birthday. Birthday suit. There you are. Dr. Go, Pepper. I'll let you do an onboard with Mr. T. No, you're fine. It's been a while since we've had an onboard from you. No, I, I don't do onboards. <laughs> I really don't. I really don't do onboards. <laughs> Uh, I just say, yeah, he's turning yeah. right here, now he's turning left, yeah, Ascari, ooh, good exit, sound, yeah, move it down. You're, you're far better at, at, at the onboard, uh, Primus. I'm trying to predict who we're getting right. yeah, for a top three, that's what I'm trying to predict in my head. So, I do have something uh, that uh, this slogan will easily match Mr. T, because I know Mr. T is brand new to F2, and he begins his flying lap now. He may be fast, but as Ron Dennis, the McLaren CEO, once said, you don't expect to be at the top of the mountain the day you start climbing. And uh, the thing is, is Mr. T, you know, when he first joined RSF1, he didn't know how he was going to feel when he first joined. You know, he started climbing up that mountain and then he got a freaking jetpack and he just started flying up. Yeah, very similar to dyslexic. I was talking about earlier on. Another driver that came in and just, again, like a jetpack now. So Mr. T is going through the Lesmo, and he's looking very, very good through the Lesmo. He's very nice, good speed. Here we go. Primus, if you had to pick a top three for a Q3 here, who, who would you pick? Hard to say. Magic Marks is definitely quick, but for some reason he's not been able to get onto the top spot for today. At least so far. Uh, Brundle is quite quick around here, so I know I'd say definitely he's uh, going to have Brundle and Roberts on the top spot because Roberts got into 119.6 and he stayed in the top spot for Q2, so definitely a contender. Brundle's second, I'd say. Maybe, just maybe, Mr. T sets up top spot for the moment with a 120.1. That's a pretty good time. Uh, I'd say in between man with the cash... Uh, a 119.6. That's the time that shot Roberts already up into a provisional pole for the start of the race. So Roberts is going to stay there. Uh, I, I have to say it's tough to say first. It's definitely between Magic Marks and the Man with the Cash. Because we know the Man with the Cash has been on a charge lately. Yeah, serious charge. I think since Silverstone, he just seems to be put into another gear. Um, if I had to pick top three, I'd probably go <clears throat> Roberts... Jake Moore, Peppermint. I reckon Peppermint can pull this one off. Peppermint could actually, because Peppermint is uh, he's, he's been a really quick driver. Mm hmm. Seriously quick. Brundle with a 132. Okay. Jake Moore about so to cross the line. On Magic Marks as well. Jake Moore is going to cross the line. In third place, with a 198, Regent Knight has joined back again. Magic Marks! He says a thousandth of a second faster than Roberts! <laughs> One thousandth of a second! Uh, what? What the heck is that time? That's, that's, that's incredible. Mental. That's incredible. I'd love to see. I can't wait for the race now. If we got these two, these two guys on, on the first row, oh. imagine <laughs> the race we're going to have here, guys. This is going to be a fantastic race if we got these two guys on. First and second. But look, we have Brundle seven minutes. Goes around the parabolica. And it's going to cross the line. What's Brundle going to do? Brundle! 119.5! And you softs as well. They're already one lap on them. That's the second lap he's done on the softs. Again, the friend now of the cash? Night. Six, Can you please contact bad. him to please leave the session? Help me to cross the line here. Here we go. Perfect. The streaking driver Eight. sets himself into P8 with a 120.0. I can't believe I just said streaking. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. But then again, some people have their own way of finding concentration. If it helps Pepper, it helps him. 
But then again, I don't think it's going to do any driver's justice. Because I think, you know, it's going to be like a psychological weapon that Pepper Me can use in the race. You know, you've got a naked Irishman in an orange McLaren <laughs> chasing you down. Uh, I just, I'm going back there and thinking, Roberts is in third currently at the minute. But he told me earlier on he wasn't happy with the setup. If he's doing that now with a setup he's unhappy with, imagine he pulled that with setup for race trim. And he just goes and sets a blinder. That's true. This is... This is crazy. Peppermeat is still currently on the charge. You know, I think he'll try and beat that time once no, he gets the charge. Cool. Stretch is currently the he's only cool car down. that is not set a time. He's actually still in the pits. I don't know when Stretch is going to try and go out. Uh, I'm set, see, looking around here to see if anyone's... Looking to set up. Senna is looking on a. He's on a hot lap at the minute. Everyone else is on a cooldown. Uh, yeah. Senna is. There you go. Regent's gone again. Uh, Senna is now going to cross the line. By the way, Bodder, for a brief moment, 37 viewers. Whoa. Holy Toledo. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we are getting some serious serious attention there from viewers so thank you very much for 37 that's <laughs> incredible i think that's the most i've actually seen on yeah. uh the rsf1 channel so far so thank you for tuning in we really do appreciate it and we hope to provide some great battles for all of you fans at home yeah definitely and give us give the uh, twitch page a, a follow or like or whatever it is these days i can't remember i'm so old now these days if you if you guys uh want to uh, apply uh, for RSF1, please remember www.racingseriesf1.wixsite.com uh, um, and if you want to follow our social media, please follow at Racing Series F1 on Twitter to see updates from races, some fun facts and general uh, updates on the league. Ah, you're getting some love there. Look at this. Um, Spiral Acer Face, which says, love your primers. I stood muffin. That's from Spiral to you. Really? Primus. Yeah. Spiral. I suggest you go take a quick walk to calm down, mate. <laughs> <laughs> a cold bath, maybe as well. Uh, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> right. Well. What? Well, well, I'm reading back up here. It says, uh, "Sweetheart, Primus, darling, how are you? Love you." Oh my god. Things are getting very. It's very because of a joke Tomo made. The oh, joke is Tomo's this? made, and you know, and, and Spiral's playing along. But going on to Peppermeat, who is now on his uh, outlap. Uh, currently, the only car going on the outlap at the moment, as Senna's going on his uh, in lap. So Peppermeat is still on the charge, but yeah, if you guys want a reminder to follow the social media, please remember um, that we've, uh, it will be posted in the Twitch chat to go into the website and remember at racing series f1 no spaces and that is our twitter page so uh, if you want to try and have a little bit of fun with the guys you know <laughs> we had some people talking in the chats <laughs> yeah, i'm just reading it here happened. so yeah um spiral says now i'm hot for you so i, I dude i think he's he's in the middle of february because he thinks mostly valentine's day or something like that uh and then <laughs> Overcome Orphans come on and says, don't worry about it, I love you. Thanks, Orphan. Thanks. That's, that's my, that's my well <laughs> compadre there, so it is. Uh, uh, at, least, at least you got a fan, brother. I got <laughs> one got fan, fan in the chat. One way. fan. Here we go. Thanks, Orphan. Okay, so Peppermy is one of the first cars to go on to a lap. Senna actually retires in P7. I think Ooh. a little bit preempted, but I think yeah. Senna... I don't think... That, I think Senna might think... That a 119.9 is probably the best he can push for a lap at the moment. So here we go. Everyone is currently going on an out lap except for Pie Eater. Is he going to try and stretch out just a little bit further? So on board of the Irishman going. Go on, Irish. Oh, ah, well, ah. well, he's doing really good at the moment. You know, he's going through Grande. Uh, let's keep. Let's go on board, actually. We'll go on a TV camera. So into Roggia he goes. This is where Sebastian Vettel spinned once in Monza. That's actually where he span last year. And, yeah, uh, and then wasn't in, it? Yeah, and then Hampton he span Diamond. on his own into the Ascari no, chicane, which led on to the domino effect. It, what, it was Vettel that dived him, wasn't it? 
Yeah, I think yeah. Vettel uh, tried too hard to try and push against Lewis. Lewis was on the racing line. Uh, as much as obviously you know uh, everyone's mixed fans here, but uh, judging that from a racing perspective, that was a racing incident uh, between Lewis Hamilton and Vettel because I think Vettel just tried to push it through um, Roggio, which is a very very risky area to try and attack and def well trying to defend I'd say mainly, especially when you're on the outside going through the second part of the chicane, and uh, that uh, they didn't even make that much contact, and then Vettel just went into a spin. He fired from Pepper mate. Robert is coming on the end of sector two. I think he's in the next one about to cross the line. I think he might be. Yes, he is. I'm sorry. I'm just no, there is a car here. in front of him. I think it might be an outlap, though. Oh, magic marks! He loses it going out of the chicane of Roggia. And he catches the gravel. That might have just ruined his chances of setting provisional pole. Stretch with the cross line here. He's a parabolic guy. We're on, on exit on the last turn. Where is he going to sit? Stretch sits in ninth. Okay. E9. 20 flat. 10th place from Tbilisi. Roberts, a 119.3! As time runs out, that's a good time to put it in. Magic Marks is pulled team. out. Yeah, Magic Marks is actually... Um, he lost control a couple of times in that lap. So Magic Marks will finish where he is unless someone can beat a 119.6. Mr. T in his RSF1 debut in F2 after a tremendous performance in F4. Where can Mr. T place himself? Eighth, Eighth place is Not where bad. Mr. T finishes. Jake Moore! Provisional pole in the Red Bull! Jake Moore! Oh my god! Look where he's he finishes. takes provisional pole from Roberts! What a lap from Jake Moore in the Red Bull! Serious lap from Jake Moore. Serious lap. Paita goes round. The Parabolica onto the straight. Where can Pai to put himself? He stays P5. Peppermeat. Peppermeat. No, Peppermeat's not going for it. No, and he's I not think going for it. Stretch as well. Where did Jake Moore come from? What a lap! <laughs> Can't get over that. Can't get over that. Roberts That's was sitting incredible. there on pole. Roberts sitting there on pole. I'm sure his engineer was saying to him, Yeah, no, you're, you're fine, you're fine. Magic Mark has pulled out of the lap. Jake Moore, out of nowhere, RKO on Roberts. Boom. That's amazing! That's, that's crazy. I think that's Jake Moore, Jake Moore's first pole in F2 this season. Uh, and yeah, he told me, he told me earlier on, he said, pole. he said, I've done no more, I've done, I've done hardly any, any practice for this race. It's like, <laughs> dude, you do no practice and you get pole! What? Oh, I'm super psyched, brother. For the first time in F2, F2 a Red Bull stands at the top spot. Wow. Normally this it's Hash, Renault or Racing Point, but the yeah. Honda engine has now just said, Hello lads. <laughs> yeah, I'm here to play. Let's play. Wow. Oh my god. Uh, how is how Roberts like going, when... going to tackle um, Jake now going into one? Is Jake going to call off Roberts? Really annoyed. Nine thousandths of a second faster. I'll let yeah. you go over the top ten actually, Bodder. Yeah, I'll let you take a minute. Uh, Alright, so, so uh, starting in 10th, we've stretched 9th Senna, 8th uh, Tabitzi, 7th Man with the Cash, 6th Peppermeat, 5th Pieter, good result for Pieter, 4th Magic Mark, 3rd Bruntle, 2nd Roberts, who was in provisional pole up until literally the last second, it seemed. And Jake Moore, out of nowhere, comes in. Pole! Absolutely brilliant job from Jake Moore. <laughs> Fantastic! What a Red Bull lap. Racing what takes the top spot. Could we see a, um, a possibility of, if Jake Moore manages to stay in front in the start of the race, it could actually lead, um, it, it could uh, slow down Roberts a little bit. It might allow Magic Marks to make a comeback going into the opening laps. It depends on how Roberts can get past Jake Moore and how good of a start Jake Moore can get. So here we are, Bodder, the transition period. And uh, <laughs> I, I reckon... Wow. I reckon it's all going to be about the first chicane. Okay, you have the first turn in, you kind of then you have the second turn left. If Jake gets good exit out there, I reckon that's my intensity the job done for the race. Maybe we'll see. Pit strategy is a different element to it, but look, if Roberts gets the good launch coming out the turn two out of the chicane, he could have uh, Jake Moore going into the next chicane. That's where it's going to be one lost.
this is going to be fantastic, Primus. This is going to be a great race to watch. And let's it not forget, definitely. let's not forget Skunk Burner. We have to watch Skunk Burner as well. Come from the back, push his way up. He is going to be, like he was sitting some fast lap times in Q1. And now he's at the back, and they're nearly at the back of the grid. We're going to have to watch him go forward. He's a, he's a phenomenal driver, but like you would light a fire under him. Because obviously, you know, Skunk Burner, because he lights fires. Get him going there. Uh, yeah, he'll be going forward. So I'm going to just um, give you guys a little history. Oh, Max Senna is ready up. Max Senna readies up. Before we do the formation lap, in 1967, the closest time ever that like between two drivers was John Surtees against Jack Brabham. And, he, and John Surtees beat Brabham by 0 0.2 seconds in the race. 0 0.2 seconds in the actual race. In 0 0.2. Two. That's like and a then in 2002, finish. in the Austrian Grand Prix, Michael Schumacher beat Rubens Barrichello by 0 0.1. There we oh. go. Anyway, guys, <clears throat> I'm going to hand over to our king of formation laps. Oh, I, I wouldn't say a king. I just like him. I, I think they're really cool. But uh, look, this is going to be a quick lap, so let, let's start into it. Uh, starting from back, 17th is Manzel. He is in the Williams. Just beside him is Mex Tarp, who is starting in the Ferrari. 15th, we have Patronus. Unfortunately, had that issue in Q1 with his DRS flap um, stuck, so hopefully he'll be looking to push forward. Ooh, kind of bunched up there in turn one. Uh, chosen in 14th in the Alpha. Sauber in 13th, Max Senna in the Haas. Maxena has left the session. Okay, hopefully we can get back in time. Skunk Burner in 12th. We were just talking about him a second ago. If there's any driver we're looking to see move forward. But the thing is, he has to get through. RSF1 Shane first. And Shane is not an easy driver to, to overtake. Out of all the drivers in the league, Shane probably is one of the best defensive drivers. So that's a battle we're looking forward to watching here. Tenth stretch in the Renault. Uh, ninth, RSF1 Senna. Uh, in the first Red Bulls. I'll come up to the second Red Bull. It'll be great when we get there. Tavitzi from F4 to F2 in his Alpha now. This is fantastic drive for me. He just wants to get into Q1, ends up getting into Q3, gets it eight in his first race in F2. Fantastic job from Tavitzi. Tip my hat to him. The man with the cash, the driver formerly known as Josh with the Dash, racing Jason. It's at seventh. Sixth, Perkman in the. Uh, what is that? That is the McLaren. Oh, cool. I can see there a second. Uh, fifth is Pieter. Good qualifying session from Pieter. Great. Fourth, Magic Mark. Will he, will he be able to go forward? Ooh. Oh, watch that there as well, yeah. Will Magic Mark be able to pressure Brundle? Brundle sits in third. In second, who was provisional pole up until about maybe 30 seconds ago, then the Q3 was RSF1. Roberts. Roberts will be looking for a good launch. He would be looking to beat our pole man and our pole setter is Jake Moore with an absolutely astounding, fantastic lap that could not be beaten in our F2 race here tonight. Great lap from Jake Moore. Let's see what happens in turn one. And a big round of applause, everyone, to Bodder for that tremendous formation lap. Brilliant as ever. And here's the, where it gets really, really good because the grid is now lining up. We had a couple of cars make contact there in the formation lap. I did actually see mm. Paita made contact with Peppermeat in the Ascari chicane. Some cold so tires. It has gotten them. Yeah, some cold tires now on the grid. So here we are, lining oh, up man, on I'm the psyched. grid. I'm psyched. I cannot Ooh. wait for this. The Italian Grand Prix. The last few cars are now rounding up. Here we go. So we've got one, two, three, four, five red lights. Long hold. And it's They're lights off. out of the way we go. And Roberts gets a really good launch off the Ooh. line. And the inside and Jake Moore. And it looks like Brundle is now starting to put pressure. On he has Roberts the inside. He has the inside. One. It's free in the turn wide nearly. And it looks like Jake Moore and Roberts are going to fight side by side. They touch wheels. Jake goes across the corner. And Roberts is staying in second place. And they make contact. Toby, Mr. T's in fourth place. He got what? past Magic Man going into the into ground. Going three wide. Jake Moore is under pressure by <laughs> Roberts and Brundle. Three wide, going into, a, 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 I can't even remember the name because of how intense this battle's going. Roberts falls back. Brundle, Brundle three seconds time penalty, penalty. We haven't even finished that one. Oh my God. And Roberts down the inside into the two right-handers on Brundle. Mr. T is all over the gearbox of the Renault of RSF1 Brundle. 
Probably one of the well. most tamed race stars of the school. F2 season. That's brilliant. That's this immense. is such a great start to the race here, Brian. Is. Brundle is right up behind Roberts. Roberts kind of got a bit of a wiggle. I don't know if he's going to be able to catch Jake Moore here on the straight. Oh, he is. He's right behind him. He's right. But look, the good news is, all green flag racing, we haven't had one spin or instant yet. Pepe is going to try and go down the inside on Magic Marks into the Parabolica, but he can't do it, so he has to back off for the moment. But can Pepe get the slipstream? And he's actually going into overtake. He's looking to make the attack on the Magic Man. Can he get Ooh, close enough? He's losing Roberts, a little bit of time. Roberts! He's going to take the inside of Jake. Oh, he's going to try and go down the inside no, on the Red Bull. He's kind of backing over it. Jake okay. defends amazingly, and Great it looks like Jake Roberts Moore. just can't get past him. Now with the cash got pie stretch, good job by uh, Matt the cash. To Vinci up in fourth, that's phenomenal from eighth to fourth on one lap. That's a great debut he's made so far, and Jake Ward defends perfectly as Roberts tried to make a look down the outside into the hairpin, and Jake successfully holds him off. A tremendous start for that Red Bull. This is incredible. Great job, great job. Unfortunately, we have to have some big winners and some big losers. Unfortunately, Pieter is down six spots already. Lap two. So that fantastic qualifying had means very little now. We're sitting in 11th place, unfortunately, for, for Pieter. Jake Moore is making... Uh, no, Jake Moore. Magic Marks is trying to make the attack onto Mr. T going into the Ascari chicane. But it looks like Mr. T gets a bit of a better run. Senna gets past Skunk Burner. Ooh, and Cash gets past Roberts. Stretch. Brundle's got past Roberts. Oh, they are! They're going to make a battle. Brundle, Brundle goes down the inside into the Parabolica, and Roberts had no way to defend. Shane and Chosen are fighting their way up yeah, the grid. Yeah, we missed this, Skunk but of course. Down. Skunk Burner and Shane. Skunk Burner got past Shane there on the uh, Parabolica, I think it was, last turn. So, look and at Chosen all the three is laps, getting a look on right. Shane down the inside. Goes um, Chosen, they touch wheel, Shane forces uh, Chosen onto the grass going into turn one. Chosen has to back off, it makes him battle three wide with the McLaren of Patronus. That was a very, very uh, uh, massive defence there from Shane. As you said, he's one of the, he's like a, a massive wall on the track. You know, his defence is mental. And look at that, Brundle was all over the gearbox of Jake Moore. Jake Moore is holding on for dear life. Yeah, if I can check it out. No, nope, everyone's good. Everyone's good. Probably just a little bit of grass caught, maybe. But no, Brundle... Until seven seconds behind, he might have had a spin. He might have had a spin. He sorry. might have had a little moment there, or a half, yeah, a half spin, maybe. And Brundle Brundle's is maybe looking. trying to make He's the move looking. onto Jake Moore into the Ascari chicane. Do remember, Jake Moore is okay, but Brundle has a three-second time penalty because on the first lap going into that chicane, Brundle cut the, um, that little bit and he got himself a penalty instantly. That's, 40 that's viewers, Bonner! What? Holy Toledo! 40! I'm not going to say 40! <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. This is fantastic to, to hear that we have so many viewers tonight. Uh, Brundle trying outside! Oh, he's getting past him. Oh, and he, he tries it. to do he it! He has it! He does! Brundle makes it round the outside. Jake Moore has got no ERS. I think Jake Moore has used so much ERS trying to hold off these guys the cash, that he has no stretch. way to... Good job. Sorry, he has no way to appropriately respond. I was on board with the man with the cash for a moment until uh, the lead got taken. Mansell received a five second time penalty for speeding in the pit lane. Oh, Mansell, you don't want that. Don't want that here. It's so tight up near the front. So tight. I know we're trying to cover Shane everyone here. Fighting. Not stretch, uh, chosen, sorry. Oh, Pieter and stretch. Oh, and it looks like the out for Mayo. Oh, oh my God. Chosen, 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 the chosen, lost the back of the car, went back on the track and he clipped the McLaren of Patronus returning to the track that almost took out Patronus. But Patronus saved Ooh. it. To bits, he's on the back of Roberts. Well, he was there a second Is he? Ago. Oh my God. He was and a second ago. Like, he was a second ago. Looks like Roberts on the back um, of Jake Moore. The between Roberts Jake Moore and Jake Moore turned to the fall back. He can't do it, he's got not got enough speed. Can Jake Moore hold it into the Parabolica? Yes, he can. Roberts has to back off, but they're going to go side by side into the Parabolica yet again. Roberts, Roberts left DRS, though. DRS. Yeah. Side by side action going on. Can Look at the Bitsy. Look at the Bitsy. The Bitsy's going to get Jake Moore as well. The Bitsy takes him and Magic Marks. 
And looks at Tibitzi's gonna make the pressure. And look at that round the outside into turn one. Tibitzi didn't even know Magic Marks was there. Magic Marks just gets past the Alfa Romeo, but it looks like Tibitzi got the better run going into Grande, side by side between the Racing Point and the Alfa Romeo in his debut race. Toby wants a podium. He's gonna say, look at this boys, I may be an F4 driver, but I am here to fight. And he's gonna try and fight. Magic Marks loses it a little bit into the chicane. And Roberts clips a bit of the gravel. Scott Corner no Shane. To make Sorry, Senna. Sorry to cut across here. Scott Corner has kicked past Senna. Very, very nice job there done by Skunk. And he's got WR stretch. Magic Marks is struggling to try and get to Roberts. Meanwhile, Mr. T is backing off a little bit, but Jake Moore is on the back of Mr. T and a little bit. Oh, wait, no, there he is. I looked at the wrong Red Bull. I feel Maybe sorry for Jake Moore. He, he was in he was in first place only like three laps ago, and he's already down to fifth place. Maybe it's the softs. Maybe it's, it's his setup. We don't know. We'll see what happens in the second stint when it comes back to him. But he did burn out his ERS a little bit too quick. And do remember, he had to hold off a few people for a few laps, so he had to really defend. I cannot blame him for falling back a little bit because he used a lot of power to hold off these guys. What Mr. T is going to get the DRS on Magic Marks going down the straight. And remember, Mr. Gets T past the cash. makes the move around the outside on Mr. T. Um, yeah, Ma 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 cash is getting past Stretch. That's a very good move there by Mamba Cash, actually. Mm -hmm. Mamba Cash is actually trying to catch up to Skunk Light, is working his way through. Skunk's up into night now at the minute. Just got past the Renault Stretch. Jake Moore Jake gets, Moore past, the gets past Mr. T on Grande into the chicane. Mr. T looks like he just got the better run, but Jake got a decent one as well. So Jake makes his way back up. Jake has actually been harvesting a load of energy like crazy. So Mr. T just had no battery to counteract the Red Bull. So now Jake Moore is probably going to try and make the charge back up the field. Look at that, he's already opened a bit of a gap between him yeah, and Mr. T. He has, he has. It's great as well. I'm looking at the timings here. Most of our drivers are within the second of each other. Oh, and Jake Moore loses it to Scurry! And Mr. T, he gets past amazingly! Oh, the corner. Oh, Jake, careful. Peppermint takes that Those opportunity tires. to jump into fifth place. Yeah, the, the tires are not looking good, I say, for Jake at the minute. Peppermint up to fifth, well done. Piter's looking on the back marks. of Jake. He's trying to catch Roberts. Brundle has opened a gap of 2.1 seconds to him and Roberts. Brundle normally makes rain dances to hope for stuff, but I think today, I think he's, he's put away his rain dance uh, to try and take home a dry win. Yeah. Well, that's what he wants to do. He wants to pull away on, on the stuff because that can be part of a strategy. He can be burning absolutely everything now for his strategy. We'll have to see how that works out with pit stops. Roberts, at the minute, still sitting with just under two seconds behind uh, our leader, Brundle. Looks like Mr. T is trying to harvest as much power as he can because he's just not got the battery to catch Magic Marks. I Meanwhile, Marks has actually been using up quite a lot of power. The two, the two uh, battles uh, going boys on. Are battling on. Look at the two Mex boys. They're yeah. battling so they are. One's on hard. One's it on looks mediums. like. Oh, Chosen has actually Harris gotten well. taken by WR Chosen. I think they might have had a little touch there, the two Mex boys, and it's allowed Chosen to just take the opportunity to pass them, so a good battle for 14th place. Chosen is actually gaining on Matt Senna. We're gonna get him, he's gonna get him too wide to Ascari. He's gonna Down do the it. inside, going to Ascari, and Chosen does it! Great job by Chosen. He slightly, ever so slightly, got onto the curb. Oh, it didn't work out for him. going out though. Yeah. And that's gonna allow Matt Senna to make a retaliation. On the left of the WR Chosen, it's MEX versus WOR. And they touch a little bit going into the Parabolica. They are fighting like crazy. It's a good battle to see between Senna and Chosen onto the uh, straight now. And they're still going. Yeah, they are still Look going. Look that, side by side. None of them have got DRS. The battle was that close that the game didn't even give the person behind DRS. Down the inside, Chosen goes into turn one. But Max Senna, he catches too much curb and he falls back. Chosen defends. The so three way battle for Fort. Sorry to cut across you, Finals, but the three way battle for Fort. With Tabitzi obviously in fourth minute, but he's holding back Pep from me. And Jake Moore wants to get, past, get, get, get back up there. Jake Moore has fallen from first to sixth. He wants to start getting back up there. It looks like a Mr. T. He's trying to fight these guys. Do keep in mind, though, he's. 
he has come up to F2 recently, so he's Heiser hoping to try and score some good points. More. And Brundle Brundle. gets another three-second time Brundle. penalty. That's the second one. Six seconds. That's not going to do Brundle any favours, because that, even though it's still early in the race, that might potentially cost him the cha uh, not the championship, the race. Mercedes has got a penalty. Pait is actually challenging Peppermeat going into the Parabolica. Look how close that Mercedes is on the uh, McLaren. He's actually going to go down the inside of the Parabolica. He loses the back end a little bit because Brundle like, pits. people Brundle's are pitting. In. Brundle's in. Mr. T's got a time penalty, a five second time penalty for speeding oh, no. in the pits. Don't want that. I don't want that. Are these guys going to go into hards, you reckon? There's a good chance if Mr. T's going on the hards, he's going to try and go to the end. Pai uh, has received I a six second time penalty. Yep, I think Mr. T, yep, they're whoa, going whoa, whoa, for a whoa. one stop strategy. Brundle is showing softs for me. Is he showing he is softs? On softs. For you? So he's too soft, unless the game or him made a mistake. So he's going to go soft, soft, been... medium. That could potentially cost him. He could go for a two stop. He needs to be aggressive and Very catch aggressive. up to those guys in the front. But here's the thing. He can only stay out for a certain amount of laps because those softs do not last around Monza. No, he's going to get maybe about nine, ten laps, you reckon? Because obviously the guys are pitting now with eight, seven, eight laps. Jake Moore, no, oh, Jake he's Moore. Set the time, uh, that's going to bring him up into 19. Sorry, that's going to be really awkward for Pitten for Brundle. I, I, ooh, I the next boys are battling side by side, wheel on wheel, banging wheels on the air. They're creating paint. They're probably trading carbon fiber at this stage. Max Senna's getting looked at. Roberts has got a penalty for speeding in the pits. No, you don't want that. You really, really don't want that. Man with a cash moves up to second place. Skunk Burner third. Skunk Burner's made a tremendous charge up the field. Okay, so think about And he could go on for longer. Think about this for a second. Brundle, six seconds worth of time penalties, and Roberts has a five seconds penalty. That kind of balances each other out. Mr. T makes his way back up the positions. Mr. T is now in 12th place after the pit stops behind Roberts on the mediums. I think Roberts is going for a two-stop strategy of soft, medium, soft. Meanwhile, Mamre de Cash is under pressure by Skunk Burner in third place. And do keep in mind, Mamre de Cash and Magic Marks have actually got to pit. Yellow flag in the second sector. It looks like it's a See battle going is. on. Up front, I think that was between Shane and Patronus. Skunk, look at Skunk sitting on third at the minute. He's right behind Mamma and Cash. Mamma well. Cash is struggling for that grip. Look at Mamma yeah, Cash. He can't perfect. even keep the car properly on the line with how yeah, much he's struggling. Get him here. And Skunk Burner, yeah, he's going to make the move around the outside on the Mamma the Cash, going onto the Parabolica. Can the Mamma the Cash hold off Skunk Burner? A side Run by side. Tonight. And it's a good battle. It looks like Mamad Akash is going into the pits. Yeah, yeah. Magic Marks is in. Now, this is where Skunk needs to put in some serious lap times. He does. What He's is Magic 12. Marks going to do? Is he going up? Man, Magic Marks is going on the uh, medium compound tyre. Brundle sets the fastest lap of the race. Brundle needs to pit again, though. That's, that's the awkward thing. Brundle is obviously two stopping. This is a definite real jumble. Mr. T is in 10th place. Magic Marks is in 9th. Behind Roberts, who's on one lap fresh and medium tyres. Yeah. Shane as well. Shane in third. Yeah. Chosen as well. With, with Tara, you know, some top of these, five are doing really well. Yeah, some of these medium guys here, medium tyre guys are doing some great work on, on the mediums to really make them last of here. It's going for Burner Patronus, Shane, Chosen. Next tarp, all sitting on 10 year old, uh, 10, 10 lap old. Uh, 10 years. Yeah, that, they that's must a long be on, last They must tarp. be on good years and Bridgestones. <laughs> <laughs> light years, man. They're on light years. I mean, so it looks like Skunk Burner is comfortably sitting in first place, but until he pits. And look uh, how Brundle. Brundle. Brundle is all over the place, so he is on all sorts. He is going for it. He needs to know. He's now making the charge. He knows, he, needs, he knows that he needs to get, he needs a bit again, so that's why he's pushing so hard. All out attack here for Brundle. The rain, man. He's got the DRS going down the straights. 
Can Brundle get past Mansell and RSF1 Senna receive penalties? Three second time penalties going down the inside. Brundle's going to go on Mex Tarrop in the Ferrari. The Renault just edges out in front. Do keep in mind, Brundle has got six seconds worth of penalties that will hold him back at the end of the race. Patronus is all over the back of Shane as well. He's gaining. Meanwhile, Chosen is gaining on Patronus. Have mm. a mate, three second time penalty. Excuse me, I'm just eating a few chips here. Mm -mm -mm. This is fantastic no watch. Max Tarab got a three second time penalty. And this is this is close. So many penalties happening. Yeah. What I'm really interested to see is what's going to happen with Brundle. How is that going to correlate with Roberts? The penalties, the tire situation, the pitch strategy. Where is it all going to end? Man with the cash is all over the back of Peppermy. Going into the Lesmo. I think the Magic Man might be able to make a move here. So it's mediums versus hards. And it looks like Man with the cash is edging out just slightly. Is he going to try and make a move on the Ascari chicane? I don't think the Man with the cash is going to. He's going to hold off for the, second, for the moment. Goes a bit too deep into Ascari. But makes a good run out nonetheless. Do you think this was a plan to stop by uh, Brumble? It's a possibility. It feels a plan. It's a bit of a risk. Serious risk. Oh, Magic Marks. No, it's not Magic Marks. Peppermeat is making a move down the inside on Jake Moore onto the straight. The, the, pre, the race leader starting is losing the positions against the uh, uh, Peppermeat. And soon, man with the cash. Free wide. Right. Going into the first corner. Consisting of Ferrari, McLaren and Red Bull. Ooh, and they really touch Leos. Man with a cash down the inside. Man with a cash gets out in front. Patronus with a three second time Ooh, penalty. Man with a cash gets out in front. Shuts the door on Peppermint. Jake Moore is looking Jake at the Moore, back. Right behind him. Oh, he has to pull back a little bit though because it's just too close. Breaks yeah. quite early though going into that uh, chicane. Yeah, I think he's struggling for the grip. Getting caught in traffic here. It's not ideal. Shane is now looking to try and make a counter attack on Patronus. He took yeah. second place from him. Literally 30 seconds ago, which oh, I've seen it. Shane's um, got a really good run. Yeah. Get a flag. Let's see who that is. Brundle's out of session! Brundle! Chosen's got a drive through penalty Scary. for causing a serious collision with Brundle. That could have been chosen the reason why Brundle's out of the race. Yeah, Brundle lost on a scary. Whatever happened, we don't know. All I see is his car is parked up on the side with a bit of carbon fiber splattered all over the middle of the road. And Shane makes a move around the outside on Patronus. Shane makes the move and closes that door. And he says, thank you very much, mate, but this is mine. That's mine. I'll be taking that. So that is not going to do it. Robert, Robert's got seconds six right seconds worth of penalties. So Brundle went from having two to Roberts having two. This could make some serious, serious um, like implications the championship? at the end of the race. Yeah. That as well, Brundle has lost out on some serious points in the championship. Meanwhile, Roberts has got that penalty. It, Magic Marks hasn't got any from what I can uh, recall. This is well, mad. And Roberts is gaining on Mex Tarrant. This is, this is the amazing battle. Shane's got a three second time penalty. Yeah, Going those mediums are. What are the medium runners going to do? Are they coming up and stops? Roberts is struggling for all that grip in that area. Max Senna is actually going to get a little look on his teammate. Going down the inside. Max Senna goes on Roberts into the Parabolica. A battle of teammates. Senna gets out in front. <laughs> Roberts is a side-by-side -side battle on. from the house. He's holding on. He's not giving the position up. It's a good battle from the pair of them. And Senna's got the uh, DRS. They both got DRS. What? Of course, they're having a mixed up. goes down the inside. A good battle between teammates. But could this compromise the pair? It's not looking like it because they're racing very, very well. That is an amazing move. Roberts gets back out in front. Senna, amazing pressure applied. Going into Grande, he's actually going to look around the outside again. Jake Moore and Peppermint swapping positions. Senna, he's going to make the move. Going down the inside. Senna does it. But they make contact and it forces Senna into a little bit of a half spin and it sends Senna back into sixth place and Magic Mark sticks out in front. 
Stretch gets past Jake Moore there. In the second chicane. This is incredible racing. Skunk Burner, what a drive. He's in first place and he's still performing really, really well. From 12th. Skunk Burner's got no penalties from what I can recall. No, none. And that's from 12th as well. Now he has the pit, so that's going to set him back 26, 27 seconds. But I'm reckoning he's going to go on to the softs. Skunk Burner on softs with like 10 laps left to go. Wow. All That's of the medium new. runners do have to pit again, yeah. while the hards can actually go to the end. So, uh, Mr. T's actually on a really good uh, possibility for a good position because he's only done six laps. His lap 16 out of 27. He could probably take it to the end. Roberts makes the move on Tarrup. No. Tarrup no, Tarrup goes in the pits. Senna's in. Sorry about that. Mr. T's actually gone into sixth six. place. Yeah, nice one. Nice one, Mr. Mr. T. Jake, Jake Moore, five Moore. second time penalty for speeding in the pits. It's such a start, it's such a, a, a such a great start to the race for Jake Moore. He's just gone worst to worst, lost positions, and now with a penalty entering the pits, the race to forget so far. Great qualifying, but not so not so good in the race for unfortunately for him. Battle between third and fourth is still really close. With Shane on the oh, Roberts on the back of Shane. Patronus as well. Patronus is uh, sorry, Shane's on the back of Patronus, kind of. He's getting DRS on him. Shane, I know, is waiting for the softs. I know Shane. He is absolutely waiting for the softs. And he is going to tear things up in a few minutes when he puts those softs on. It's going to happen now because oh, look at the bad run Petronas has gone. Loose. It's going to allow Shane to make an attack. But Shane's actually fallen back a little bit because I thought Shane was going to get the most amazing run through while Petronas has like, got a bit of a poor run through there. But they yeah. both lost a little bit of speed. So this means that Roberts is going to inherit the lead then when these guys are pitting. Okay, skunks in, skunks in. And now Patronus is in. Shane currently provisionally takes the lead of the Italian Grand Prix. We've got a load of penalties incoming. Roberts is in second place. Mark's in third. Mr. T's actually going to get into fourth if he can get by those two. Yeah. He can! Mr. T's in fourth! And Mr. T, best thing is, he does have a pit again. He is done for pitting. Ten laps left to go. Can he hold on to fourth place? Man with the cash might have to pits because I don't think those mediums could go on to the end. Ooh, well, the guys, Shane's on 16 lap old tires. But 10 laps ago, it is a possibility. Man with the cash could but do those, it. Yeah. those mediums will be screaming, though. Screaming? But <laughs> if Man with the cash gets fifth, he'll also be screaming. The Magic Man is gaining on the current. Uh, your driver in second place, which is Roberts. Shane still needs to pit. Man with the cash have a three second time penalty. Has Magic, Ma uh, Magic Marks got any penalties or warnings uh, for that matter? Magic Mark, uh, Magic Mar is that what you're asking? Let's have a look here. Yes, please. Zero. Not even a warning from Magic Man. Clean drive. Very clean. Very clean. And Roberts is losing time to him. The Magic Man is slowly gaining, surely. Can he do Shane it? Shane has the pit soon. Shane has the pit this lap. Come on. Bring it in, Shane. There you go. Bring it in. Bring it in, Shane. Get those softs on. Get going. Ten laps. There you go. Uh, Roberts now takes the lead of the Italian Grand Prix. We've got a yellow flag in the third second sector. What's going on? Uh, ooh, we got a spinner. Chosen. Chosen went around. That's in the second chicane. Oh, and the battle is going on for first. Magic Marks is looking at the back of Roberts. Mr. T in third place. Mamad Cash has got a handful of penalties while Mr. T only has a five seconds, so I don't think right now that uh, if Mr. T can stay in third place, he might get a podium on his debut. Wow, can you imagine that? From F4 to F2 and you're in the interviews from the podium? That would be fantastic. Absolutely fantastic going from Tabitzi. do feel sorry for Brundle because he could potentially be fighting for the podium if he didn't have that off with WR chosen. And it looks like Magic Marks is going to try and make a move down the inside on Roberts. Whoa! Whoa, okay. What happened there? You saw that lag spike. Wow! But Roberts is still up in front. That didn't phase the Magic Man, so they're still racing. They're still racing. That's Roberts the good is news. Still on the right side. Magic Marks is going to try and... Look at that. Roberts is defending. Jake Moore, another penalty. From bad to worse for the Red Bull driver starting on pole position for the race. And it looks like Roberts is still going. It looks like we got a yellow flag I'm in the checking. third sector. And I can't see it. 
Might have been a slow car or something like that. And Shane! No, no, Shane! Magic Marks is taking the lead of the Italian Grand Prix round the outside. He goes. Oh, oh Robert! Oh, Robert oh, hits the back of oh, him! Oh, oh, oh. Contact was made! It was very light. And though. Very Skunk light. Burner has gotten past the man with the cash. Skunk Burner, though, has got to try and do a handful more laps on those softs. If he doesn't catch Mr. T and make up some uh, positions, Skunk Burner's little gamble might fall through. I reckon Skunk Burner will be looking for third here. Yeah, he should get third. Brand new soft. He's a bit bit is just in front of him. Uh, I, can, I can see. Yeah, Skunk is just real. Jake Moore's oh, out! Jake Moore! Ah, oh, it's gone from bad to worse for Jake Moore, and Skunk Burner has actually got out the Lesmo a really good run on Mr. T. Goes down the right hand side, and Skunk Burner takes third place from Mr. T. So that was actually a really good overtake there from Skunk Burner. Mr. T had no way to counteract that because you know he's on the hard compound tires versus soft. He just had to hold back. Yeah, just checking for, for Jake Moore. I lost in terminal, so I reckon he might have retired in the pits. Got a yellow flag in the first sector. First sector? That could be a bug. Hopefully not. Oh, please don't say that stays on. Skunk burn. Look at this. Skunk I told burner. you this would happen. Lap after lap. The fastest lap. Roberts is gaining. Yeah, we do have a yellow flag. I'm seeing it. It's Jake Moore. Yeah, Jake Moore's car is obviously retired in the pits, but he came out of the pits. Obviously, the AI took over, so it was waiting for the car to get moved off. Looks like he's gone. He moved out Green of the way, flag. Though. Roberts is staying with Robert. Yeah, Roberts is staying with Magic Mart. Toby, Mr. T, is uh, keeping good pace, but the man with the cash is on the charge. Now the cash is on the charge. Knocking at that door. Oh, he's knocking. He's certainly knocking. He already got his podium. Next center gets past RSF1 center. So it's a battle of the centers. Shane's actually on the back of RSF1 center into the Lesmos. Yep, Shane on brand new stuff. Senna's going to defend. But look at that, the speed there. And Senna's got wing damage. Got a missing right end plate from my concern. Yeah, that's that's Shane's position all day long on brand new softs. We've got Bal up front Ooh, of Pyter Pyter and Peppermeat. Peppermeat. Side yes. by side, Chosen's got another three second time penalty. Still, um, Peppermeat has got to back off as Pyter takes uh, the the... He does it, yeah, man, the cash is past him. And Mr. T make a retaliation. Senna gets another penalty. RSF1, Senna not max. Uh, Senna retiring. The RSF1, okay. Senna's out. Yeah, retiring the bits. Looks like it's a bad day in the office for the Red Bull team as Jake Moore and RSF1, Senna have just said, you know what? We've we've lost a load of ground today. It's yeah. Best to just bring the car home and just, you know. Move on to Singapore next week. Try and have a little chat in the office and see what we can bring back next week. Yeah, such a fantastic qualifying from Jake Moore. At least he knows it's in him. He can do it. It's there for him. It's just the race. Just need to, to finish it. Finish it in the race. But at least Jake knows. And I've been saying it for a few weeks now. Jake is one of those drivers knocking at the door, ready to go, ready to get some podiums, get some wins. He, he's nearly at nearly did it tonight. Shane gets past Met Center, but Roberts is gaining on Magic Marks. Going into the straight, keep an eye on Roberts because he's really gaining. Skunk Burner is slowly closing the gap between him and Roberts, but I'm starting to see the time. It went from uh, quickly decreasing to slowly mm -hmm. decreasing, so I think we're now starting to see Skunk Burner struggle to grip on those tyres. Mr. T gets past Mara the Cash! Wow. Good attack there. I think the man with the cash is starting, starting to struggle on those mediums because they're starting to fade. Yeah. Meanwhile, Mr. T's Harrods are coming, go, just coming to him now. Skunk Burner is still charging to catch Roberts. Roberts has that penalty still. How many warnings has Roberts got to lead to a third penalty? To know he's got two. That's all look. Is he close to three?
so according to this, he has <clears throat> five second penalty. Yes, he's one more. He's one more away. Well, he's got another. He's got five second penalty on top. Yeah, so he has a five. He's got two warnings, then a five second penalty. I think it must be speeding the pit lane. It goes. No, he's got it's eleven not. seconds. No, I think only has eight. I think he's one more away, though. One more. Ah, away. the Magic Man tried to sell the dummy to Robert. Magic Man tried to make it look like he was going into the pits, but Robert was not phased by nah. the dummy. And Roberts is going to get that launch! Oh, Roberts, it's very experienced league racer. Yet. He knows, what, he knows the dummy marks. when he sees the dummy. Yeah, exactly. And Skunk Burner is still slowly gaining. Mr. T has fallen back a, quite a bit to Skunk Burner. And the Mount Macash is still attacking Peppermate. the back of Skunk Burner. Not Skunk Burner, uh, Mr. T. Going into one. Great move by uh, Shane. Shane, that is a good move there. So the battle up front is still looking very, very close. WR Chosen's out in sector three. Hmm. Didn't see that. Um, that must have been... Is that retirement in the pits? No, I think that's Safety car is deployed! Wow. Full safety car. That's completely that's changed. That's going to do a favour for Mr. T and Roberts. They've both got five second time penalties for There's... speeding in the pits. They can serve it. Okay. Primus, what do we do here? 23 laps, so 27 race, that's four laps. Soft. It has to be no. soft all the way. But the, the, the safety car is going to be out for at least three laps. That means you have one lap to bring back your your race. To me, this is to stay out. If I if I was if I was an engineer right now, I'd be telling my guy, stay out. And Skunk Burn has done wow. exactly that. He is not going into the pits. What's Mr. T going to do? Mr. T Magic could Mark. potentially take Robert's home in. second place. He's going in. I don't think that's a good move, Magic Mark. I think he's hand handled the lead there to Skunk Burner. I'll be honest, that's just my opinion. Might have. That's just my opinion. Man with the cash takes second place. WR stretches in third. I tried I, Yeah. Mm, this I, could no. have shaken the whole grid up. Skunk I would Burner not have could potentially it. win the Italian Grand Prix. From 12th and he's to half first. of the weeks away. Man with the cash in second, potentially. Which stretch just behind him and Patronus and Force. Patronus sitting on Bra uh, seven apples softs as well. I don't know, guys. Like, look at look at the, look at the guys who just pitted, right? Magic Mark pitted for brand new softs. He's come out in eighth place. With Robert's intent. If the safety car stays out for three laps, that means you've one lap, one to two laps to, to make up your positions. It's not going to work. I I would have completely stayed out. I have to disagree. With the guy's calls of pitting on that lap, I would have not pitted on the safety car. It's too, it's too near the end of the race. If everyone pitted, great. But some guys didn't, didn't pit. And unfortunately, if you're a frontrunner, you have to make your choice. I would have stayed out. Haita, Mexena, Shane, Tarap actually stayed out. Patronus has stayed out. So everyone in the top five has not pitted. Uh, top look, seven. Yeah, look, e even man with the cash, WR stretched there. They're in 13, 14 lap old mediums. They can, they can save their mediums. They can they can do this. They can do it. one or two more laps is all they need to ask from their mediums. I know the guys behind them are pushing on softs, but literally all you can do is just defend your absolute best. Even if you lose one or two positions, you're still getting the top five. Skunk burner though, he won't be able to push as hard on those softs. So in a way, it can preserve those softs for a little bit. To me, Skunk has already won this. He's going to pull away from those guys in the swerving Because I've seen careful. guys swerve a lot and actually lose the back end of the car while warming up their tyres. So I'm just going to check very, very careful to do that. Real quick, um, Primus. And no, Mamad Cash has got six seconds. Skunk is clean as a whistle. No penalties, no warnings. To me, this is Skunk's race to lose right now. To lose or win? Oh, he has it. He has it. Like, his nearest tread, I'd say, will be Patronus. But Patronus has to get you stretch and the man with the cash first to even challenge for the win. Um, like, look, the safety car said that was going to be out for another lap anyway, at least. 
So we could see literally the battle drag on to the very final lap of the Grand Prix yeah, after I... WOR Chosen. Is that terminal damage by any chance? Chosen, I think, uh, spun on a scary and the car was kind of facing towards in the barriers on the left-hand side. So that was terminal damage uh, from, from Chosen is what I believe there. But I, I, I can't get over decision-making process here. It's just... I know some of these drivers have engineers, some don't, but I know Roberts has a few penalties, but the magic man. Safety car's going in. Yeah, so it's going in this lap, so you're on 26 laps, so 27. The battle's going to unfold. So we are seeing the restart of the race. receiving a five second time penalty after making a collision with RSF1 Patronus. Ouch. Oh! Oh, Stretch is after losing a bit of his front wing. Stretch has got a five second time penalty for making a collision with the man with the cash. And the race re-begins now at lap 25 of the F2 Italian Grand Prix. So going around the line as the safety car peels into the pits. Skunk Burner is in first. Man with the cash is all over the back of Skunk Burner going out of the Parabolica. The race re-begins now. Smack oh the cash God. is looking down my the nerves. outside on Skunk Burner Skunk has the inside turn up. one. Skunk has the inside, he's going to defend well here. Oh, he locks up! Oh, Skunk, he locks up! He locks up! Skunk is trying, I think those softs are struggling like crazy. Nine laps on those softs, that is pushing them to their limit, even though they're in the safety car. They are still struggling. Man with the cash is going to try and pull and make the move. In the chicane, he cannot do it. Oh, Roberts is all over the back. Oh, Roberts, Roberts has got another penalty. No, Mr. T's Roberts. got one as well. Shane's up into six with Magic Mark right behind him. Will we see uh, team orders at racing point uh, between Shane and uh, Magic Mark? Ah, oh, Perfmeet's left the session. He's left the session. Patronus is going to wow. make the move and stretch. Look at that move into a scurry! What a move by Patronus! Oh. He went around the outside, straight well, up in Patronus. front, and it, that was, I actually say that's, that's the second best overtake of the season. That is a very <laughs> difficult very corner to, to make the move. Close. Great that job. is a, an amazing move. Stretch is now being taken by Paita. Do keep a, and Paita shunts into the side of the Magic the, marks the up in the sixth. It allows both the the racing points to make the move. Look at that, they both just look, look at Magic Mac. It's look a Mercedes Mac, Mac, Mac. Mac. Look at this, they're going to be three wide, they're going to be three wide, going into one nearly. Uh, Shane Paige or Magic Mac. The Rocks can't get by. Oh, this is, elbow it's is out here now. It's a five-way battle. Elbow is out. I am at the edge of my seat here. I, I'm, I'm watching down. this Primus get going. What is going to happen here? Skunk is starting to pull away from Magic Cash. WR. It's a multiple car battle going into the head of the chicane. <laughs> and they make contact with Renault and the Haas. Oh, Patronus. Patronus went round. Mr. T. Mr. T's got wing damage of that contact with WR Stretch. He needs to hold on. One more lap. Half a lap, guys. Half a lap. Bring it home. Magic Mark is going to try and make the move on Mech Senna. Here we go, going into lap 27. Man with the cash has got a three second time penalty. Let's get on board with Skunk Burner. He has made the strategy work. Driver of the day after a tremendous return to RSF1 after being gone for a while from me. I have to I'm say, in the positions and wins the race. Skunk Burner oh, magic doesn't Mark just sport. win. Last corner, he's going to get last pleasure on the outside. Skunk Burner wins the Italian. Shane gets second place. Oh, there's a crash! There's a crash! Who is it? Uh, I, I think it was a Haas. Mr. Mr. T went around. jumped to fourth place with the amount of penalties there were. A so tremendous debut magic from Mr. Shame. T. Wow. Holy I Toledo. Have to say, that is the Skunk best race I've so far. Skunk Burner Driver of the Day. I can't think of anyone else who deserves Driver of the Day right now, but Skunk. Look at that! Uh, but he's been gone for four to five weeks. Returns to RSF1 in P12 for the race start. First place finish for Skunk Burner. What a win! And a return! Yep. That safety car 
really did change everything about Mr. T with that wing damage takes fourth place so an amazing debut from F4 to F2 That's... Oh. I, I, I feel that Magic Mark would have won it if he didn't pit but that was his he didn't decision. pit he probably would have but I think that's just a risk he tried to play Shane gets his second penalty uh, not, not pen podium in RSF1 yeah. It's a complete knockout on the podium. A uh, double racing point finish on the podium. That's tremendous. Uh, I, I can't even bloody talk because of how crazy <laughs> that was. The race got completely turned on its head when that safety error came out. Completely turned on its head. So right, let's start well, getting these guys in here. These guys in. Do you have to agree, driver, in a day for Skunk Burner? Oh, man, 100%. 100%. Took the, took the strategy. Right, yeah. Like, you know, the guys when we were pitting obviously in front of him, he must have saw the end of the race and that win because from 12th to 1st, fantastic drive for him. So going over the grid for the race finish, Skunk Burner in first place, second is Magic Marks, third Shane, fourth Mr. T after an amazing debut, Man Man of the Cash in fifth, good result from the Man of the Cash, Pai to sixth, Robert seventh, Mansell eighth actually from starting dead last, Stretch ninth, Pepper Meat tenth, Patronus eleventh, Mex Senna 12th, Mex Tarot uh, 13th, and then I lost the rest of it because unfortunately it did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Bodder. Oh my god. And 38 viewers as well. We've had a lot of viewers in the entire race. 40 we, we maxed out on. And now we are at the end of F2. What a race. This, this what season a race. is really heating up, isn't it? I know we're on like near the home straight for the season, but like. These drivers are not letting up one bit. Have we got all the boys in the podium? Uh, let's see here. We got Shane. We got Skunk. Magic Mark is connecting. Skunk is also connecting. Oh, Magic uh, is here. There we go. So uh, we'll wait for Skunk Burner to connect. Uh, lads, make sure to click the box in the party to include your audio. Has Skunk Burner gone in now? Is he connected? He is still connecting. If need be, then Skunk will just have to quickly leave the party and then rejoin. That might help fix it. I'll send him another invite just so he has it ready to go. There. So um, we'll just. Uh, so Shane and Magic Marks, can you please make sure that your audio is included while we try and help out Skunk get into the podium? Yep, no worries. Would you start, Primus? Yeah, I'll, I'll begin with Shane. You interview the Magic Man, and uh, I'll do Skunk if he manages again. I like it. I like it a lot. Right. So, the first of the racing point on the podium. Shane, you are on a climb this season. A podium in Germany and a podium in Italy. I bet you're ecstatic right now, mate. Um, yeah, the safety car's really been generous to me this season, to be fair. <laughs> That's two podiums, thanks <laughs> to the safety car. Um, yeah, quality was terrible. I may have just squeezed through into Q3, but I'm glad I didn't because it wouldn't have helped my strategy. Um, I had a little incident with my teammate, um, and then he happened to be the one Naughty. out, just to, just to add an insult to injury. <laughs> mm, we saw that. Um, and then me and Patronus were sort of, you know, we said we won't battle, we'll just slip each other you know and we'll be kind as we were going down the straight so we did that during the fourth, first stint second stint um craig senny but he pushed me wide uh just at the start of the third sector the s's ended up on the out on the hard stuff and then when the safety car come out i was originally gonna pit and i thought Actually, i'm already on the soft so i'll stay out um Magic Mark come out of the pits behind me. I thought, worst person in the world that can be behind me if my teammate was battling for a championship. But I knew that he got no penalties. So that was why I didn't let him pass because I'd a lot extra I'd have lost other positions if I had it done. Um and then I just want to say unlucky for Patronus. He deserved that podium. He he ran a great race, he deserved it. But I'm more than happy with a two three for force India. Helps massive in the constructors. Yeah, well done, Sean. And you mate. Before we move on to the Magic Man, I bet all of you were surprised to suddenly see Jake Moore beat Roberts by nine thousandths of a second in Q3. You know, oh, it was there. amazing. 
Yeah, it was amazing. It, I, was, I couldn't believe it when it popped up. That was a mad lap. That was certain that was pole straight up, what Roberts had put in, and then obviously Jake just absolutely smashed it. Well, that was a tremendous race, Shane. You built your way up after a very, very uh, confusing, but a very strong fight in today's race. And thanks to you and your teammates performance for the first time, you both stand together on the podium. One bit wild. First of many. <laughs> exactly. Hopefully, because you, you drove superbly, mate. And, uh, yeah, Bodo, if you've got any questions for Shane before I let you uh, interview the Magic Man. Nope, good job from Shane. Great job, great job qualifying, bringing the, the car up to the race. Great, great, great calls in the pitch strategy as well, under safety care. Good stuff. Cheers, mate. All right, All right so we'll move Bodo. on to, to you. the Magic Man, bringing it home. Um, I don't know about you, Mark, but... To me, right, I'll be very honest with you. Um, yeah. In my opinion, it looks like you're trying to win the to win tonight. Yes, it is. When you oh, well, it on, uh, yeah, go on. Sorry. Go on. Well, what I was going to say is, it, it, when it looked like to me, when you paid it on the safety car, because yeah. it was yourself and Roberts kind of up up there, but Roberts has so many penalties. I don't know if you knew that. That it was it was yours basically. Um, yeah. But when you paid it, I was seeing the guys that were paid and the guys that weren't, and I was like, right, doing the maths in my head. The safety car is going to be at least out for three laps. That means you're talking one or two laps of race and they gain back your 10, 9, 8, whatever amount of positions is back. I just thought it was a bad call. But look, how does, how does it go for you? Yeah. Yeah, it was a bad call. Very bad call. Um, but to be fair, I was thinking, I, don't, I, didn't know, I, I didn't know how far the other pipe, you know, the pipe behind me were. I thought if I can get back out in third or fourth, you know, um, I might be all right, but I ended up coming out in eight. Uh, but deep down, I had a feeling that Skunk would have caught me towards the end of the um, race anyway, because my tyres were literally on like 56% or something like that. So I'm thinking, do I just risk trying to get a punch or do I just go in now while I can? And I won't be that far behind. And I knew a lot of people would have probably had penalties. So I was thinking about that as well. But um, yeah, from eight, one we'll lap to go to finish second. and I'll, I'll take that. I will take it. And I didn't have the best quality either in Q3. I messed up my second lap and I got in Shane's way as well. I tried to give him a tour. Last time I do that. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you were doing with me? Planning on giving me a tour? Tried to help him out. I ended up nearly <laughs> wrecking his race. <laughs> yeah, he probably so, made uh, me race, to be fair. Because that, yeah. that lap would have probably got me um, into Q3. Into Q3. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's why I did it, mate. That's why I did it. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Yeah. But um, apparently, Skunk's just uh, texted me on my phone. He can't find his headphones. Oh, right. Okay. Aww. Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. But look, that was a great drive from you, uh, Mark. Fantastic drive. And again, great, great qualifying. You are probably a bit down the pecking order in Q3 yeah. than you probably would have preferred. Um, yeah. But come, come race time... I think it was yours. It's just unfortunately with the safety car at the time it came, I don't think it, it played into your hands. Yeah, I just had to make a decision really quick because it was on the back straight. I had to make it really quick, you know. So if I were like halfway through the lap, maybe I could have thought about it. But uh, no, I just went with my instincts and pitted. But in a way, it works out not too bad. But uh, yeah. honestly, second place can't argue with that. Yeah, exactly. And I really do think Skunk would have got me by the end of the race. I really do. Because they were catching yeah. rapidly, and my tyres were going off even worse. So, but yeah. definitely, I'll take a second from fourth. Yeah, definitely. And Ramos, to, uh, any questions? Bring pink drivers on the podiums. Can't beat that either. Um. So obviously, the battle was looking like it was going to be between you, uh, Jake Moore, Roberts, and Brundle. You know, the battle at the top looked very, very close, and. Uh, after Brundle went into the pits, because he went onto the softs after he pitted, and I don't know if that was an accident or if he intended to do it, because me and Bodder were very staggered. But anyways, you know, a, an amazing drive today, but do you <clears throat> feel that you can try and maybe make the counteraction? Because I know you're, you're, you're more than thrilled that uh, Skunk's back, because, you know, you both are really good mates outside of the league. Uh, are you looking to try and 
uh, defends the championship because I have a feeling now that Skunk's back, he will try and make the charge back at you in the championship. Are you going to try and defend it from him? Well, we've made a fifty pound bet, but he's going. He thinks he's going to beat me now. <laughs> ah, so you, you both, uh, you both have a little. Uh, yeah, uh, where do you on it? On. He's that confident. He's like, yeah, I'll come back and I'll beat you by Abu Dhabi. Well, I'm just looking at the standings currently at the minute, um, Magic Man, and you're extending your lead currently with your second place tonight. So, even though you made a bad call with with the uh, the safety car, you're still out on top here. You're still pulling away in the championship. So, look, fair play to you for that. Yeah, nice one. Cheers. What's next? Where's Mexico? No, it's uh, Singapore. Singapore. Singapore isn't it? Sorry, I was thinking a proper F1. Get ahead of yourself. And you? another. Another good thing I've just noticed, I didn't realise, Mark, we already had a 36-point lead in the Constructors over really? Renault, and we've just, yeah, we've just extended that. Brundle didn't finish, oh, and I think Stretch oh, yeah. Yeah. finished down in ninth. Stretch fell back down. Yeah, he was doing really good, actually. He was behind uh, Man with the Cash in uh, the top three after the safety car, and then suddenly Chosen just started to slowly fall down the grid. So you definitely have pushed up some really, really good points uh, for today. I know Williams has actually uh, built up a little bit of points after that win, but I don't think it's going to be enough to catch Racing Point for today after, you know, a second and third place finish. So, yeah, yeah are you boys looking like you're going to try and take away the Constructors for this season? Yeah, if I don't keep getting Shane's way, he'll take him out and qualify him. He'll probably do it all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I just want to say um, well done to Jake Moore on his uh, first podium as well, uh, for his first um, pole position. Oh, a great lap. Yeah. Well, well done, Jake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much much as as yeah. Fantastic. He didn't finish. I think taking your first ever pole lap at the season is still yeah. a, a remarkable lap, achievement. By the way. Um, he's happy as Larry in the chat. <laughs> he's crashed out he? and he's even though yeah, he's happy as Larry because he got his podium and he, he nailed that lap. Um, he's, yeah, he's put in there really that he was good. struggling with his race pace. Um, anyway, so he was chuffed with the podium. Yeah, because I, I said oh, it during yeah. the stream. He's happy. That That's he amazing. won his drivers as a knock on the door, and now he's suddenly gone, you know, uh, pole. He knows he can do it for the rest of the season. There are seven weeks left in this, this, this season. He knows he can do it now. Yeah, definitely. You know, right, it's there so, for taking. Uh, any more questions for the lads before we wrap up for tonight? Uh, no, no, I'm just, I need to sit down after that. That was, that was a fantastic race, but when a safety car came out, woof. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, that, that really changed everything up uh, for the entire day. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so Thank you for to viewers, well, go thanks. over the, yeah, we had, we had 40 viewers wow. we peaked at. And at the end, when that safety car happened, we was at 38. So we had a lot of viewers. Because of the comms team, so, oh, by the way, you two are brilliant, by the way. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Oh, Stop. You're honestly. making a blush, Magic Man. Stop. You are. You honestly, guys, you're immense. It's real. I love watching it, mate. You feel this fully. <laughs> you are. Uh, well, we, you. We, you know, we, we've got a solid comms team like, all round, you know. Yeah. So you know, we've definitely got some good duos. I know Element Snow and Shane are a good duo. Uh, I'd say. Brundle, uh, who would Brundle be really good with? Because I know Brundle's been uh, with quite a few different people, so it's yeah. hard to say yeah. who he really fits in well with. Could be anyone. Could be anyone, but we'll save that topic for another day. But anyways, as Skunk can't find his microphone, we'll try and get a hold of him later on to uh, get his insight on how his race was. But anyways, so to go over the classification one more time before we wrap up the stream for tonight... It is Shane in third place in the racing point, followed by Magic Marks in the second racing point in second place. And then as an amazing comeback after a multiple week break, Skunk Burner takes the win of the Italian Grand Prix clean as a whistle with no penalties and also making a uh, really important decision in the safety car. We have awarded Skunk Burner the driver of the day. So, uh... Yeah, I said of Bodder, I need to go sit down. You know, I need to go uh, relax now because that was a very stressful uh, race, you know, in a good way. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we were on edge. And uh, yeah, so I'm Primus Gaming and with me today was Bodder. It's good to be with you in our virtual comms box again, Bodder. And 
tremendous racing to i have to give my mad respect to the racing point guys today for both getting onto the podium that's tremendous drive from the pair of you so i'd say take that as a nice achievement for the for the pair of you also solidifying the constructors but anyways guys thank you for watching and we will see you all on monday not monday tuesday with f1 and uh yeah you want to stay tuned for that because we could see some real action between unity hush and all the others but anyways we'll see you tuesday